The single focus, the fearless move, the iconic shot. Lizzie Armitstead has all the hallmarks of a champion, but she's not a conventional one. This is a champion who gives no credence to the rainbow curse. In her five races so far this season, she's won three. On Lopet Newsblad and two women's world tour races, Strade Bianche and Trofeo Binda. I think the pressure's off being world champion. Yeah, people are sort of suggested to me that the pressure must be higher, but actually I feel like, well, kind of all the training and work that I put in was validated and I've proved that I can be the best in the world on the hardest day. So, yeah, it's good. This is a champion who grew up away from traditional cycling circles, one who made a late entrance to the sport, only starting in her mid-teens. I was talent spotted at school. British Cycling had this new initiative with the London Olympics in mind that they needed to find new talent. And luckily enough, they came to my school and um, basically a chance to get out of lesson, have a race around the school field. And um, yeah, one lad challenged me to a race and luckily I took him up on it and, and they noticed kind of that competitive spark in me. I'd never considered being a professional athlete, no, um, but I was in every school team that was going, so I was very sporty. But cycling was the first sport that I thought I could make a profession from. We're not a cycling family at all. Well, we weren't, we are now. My sister, I just bought her one for Christmas because she wants to try and get fit, so she thought she might have some hidden talent too, so we'll see about that. This is a champion who has forged her own way, breaking out of the British track system to pursue a career on the road and become her own guardian. I think being self-coached and finding my own path has made me the rider that I am today, definitely. I suppose, yeah, I take on two roles. I plan my training and analyse my training just like somebody's coach would. It's just about trust, really. I'm the only person that I trust to do a good enough job. I still have a huge team around me. Um, just because I'm self-coached doesn't mean that I'm doing this alone. You know, my team, Bowles Dolmans, are incredibly strong and my team manager, Danny Stam, is a great influence. He sits down at the start of the season with me and we talk about where I should be winning races and where I should be backing off. And I suppose mentally as well, he can sort of have a look at me at a race weekend and say, Lizzie, you're probably a bit tired, back off next week. I used to have problems with overtraining and being tired and sick in the past, but from those lessons, I've learned now to trust my instincts and to trust my body a little bit more. Um, and I suppose when you have a coach, maybe you ignore those signals a little bit more, but when it's yourself, then, you know, if I do feel tired or poorly, I'm not looking at a program thinking I should have been doing this. I, I really listen to my body and what it's telling me. This is a champion who doesn't compromise on principles. I've been a vegetarian since I was around 10 years old. My mum and dad used to sort of make me eat meat and, and uh, at 10 years old they kind of gave in and realised that it wasn't just a phase. Obviously it has its challenges at races and things like that when there's only meat on the menu and I do have to plan and think about my protein intake but I have to plan and think about everything as an athlete. I'm from a meat-eating family that are always telling me if I ate a steak I'd be faster, but um, I think I've proved them, you know, I'm fastest in the world without meat, so I'll do. <laughs> this is a champion in a team of champions. Bulls Dolmans has claimed all of the UCI Women's World Tour victories to date, with Chantal Black winning Ronde van Drenthe and Kent Fevelhem. They belong to a setup that gives them the freedom to train, a freedom not afforded to all of the women in the peloton. I think if you're trying to be a professional cyclist, then, you know, in every sense of the word, you need to be a professional. You need to earn a living wage so that when you're getting in from training, you don't have to go out to your second job. You know, I'm as good as I am, I'm world champion because of the rest that I have and the recovery that I have. Um, I'm totally focused on the bike and I wouldn't be able to be in this position if I had to sort of juggle it with other things like a lot of the women in the pro peloton have to. This champion is quite unlike any that's been before. She's a pioneer, an innovator, an anomaly. But she still has that one thing that unites all champions. Lizzie Armitstead is a natural born winner. I like to race on instinct, definitely. When I overthink things, that's when things start going wrong. So um, I think you either have it or you don't. Um, and luckily, I think I do have it. 
I didn't know that I would be world champion at 15, no way. I was rubbish when I first started, really. I f it was Cycling just baffled me. All the equipment, all the kit, I just didn't understand it. Even the tactics of racing, it just, it took quite, I'd say a couple of years before I really understood what I was doing. Um, and then I suppose your goals progress each year and yeah, a couple of years ago I thought, okay, potentially I have it in me.